here is your weekend weather, sponsored by Pack Saddle Barbecue. We're seeing mostly calm conditions across the entire state. A few isolated showers just off towards the west as well as some northern parts of the state. But here in the Concha Valley, we're really just seeing those clear skies, just a couple of clouds out there. And we had been seeing some very isolated showers earlier this afternoon, but most of those showers actually dissipated. And they didn't really last all that long either. As we look at that 24 hour rain totals again, they stayed off towards the southeast and didn't really increase those rain totals too much. But again, anything does help and those rain chances do look more beneficial as we look towards these next several afternoons, especially towards the middle of our work week. So definitely looking forward to that. And those temperatures last night, again, we kind of struggled to cool down, only got into those lower 70s for those overnight lows. That's where we actually hung out for the majority of the night and our morning. Back to those 80s, those clouds really did hold off those temperatures. We barely hit into those 90s for those afternoon highs. And then again, as we pass sunset, those temperatures cooled back to those 80s as well as those 70s within these past couple of hours. A look back at that almanac to kind of recap what we did see again normal average lows that we kind of would be seeing for this time of year would be in the lower or upper 50s rather 59 and we saw 72 last night so very much above that average and going into the afternoon again still seeing those 90s still four degrees above that average as we still reach the, that low 90 and that will stick around for these next couple of afternoons but with a little bit of a cool down expected for the middle of the work week as well those current temperatures in downtown san angelo looking off towards the north we're seeing those again mostly clear skies 75 degrees right now 63 for that dew point 66 for that humidity so still fairly humid out there and those north well northeasterly winds rather at five miles per hour so very calm winds across the area and those current temperatures across the entire area as well again all of us in those 70s very similar temperatures across the entire Contra Valley seeing 79 in Coleman it seems to be the warmest spot in the map and 75 to be the coolest and only a four degree difference between those two places so very similar temperatures across the entire area and actually a decent cool down from what we saw at this time last night expected to be a little bit cooler tonight than what we did see yesterday again we're already in those 70s cooler than what we did see at this time yesterday about a three degree decrease here in San Angelo the biggest decrease seeming to be off towards the southeast where they're seeing that eight mile decrease or eight temperature degree decrease rather in junction and that's pretty consistent through the southeast as well and even some southwestern places not seeing any difference in those temperatures but again looking ahead to tomorrow we'll see some of those cooler temperatures through the nighttime as well those temperatures across the entire state seeing some 80s off towards the south 81 in houston 83 in san antonio and 82 in laredo so those 80s and 70s present across the state as well and through these next 12 hours again we'll be sticking around in those 70s and then down to those upper 60s for our overnight lows and then picking those temperatures right back up into tomorrow morning that forecast for tonight 67 isolated showers but have mostly dissipated winds out of the southeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour looking ahead to tomorrow so still seeing some clouds throughout the morning hours that will start to dissipate out of the area by those later afternoon hours temperatures into the 90s once again and even kind of looking at how our Monday will go could see some very isolated rain chances through those later portions of the afternoon and then transitioning to those evening hours, they will start to dissipate out of the area. Looking at that seven-day forecast, still seeing the rain chances increase through these next several days and a big cool down for the middle of next week.